a certain point when I was 19, I went to Budapest on the Rom Romson Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we played there with uh, my father and Kunde Goter and his son Dayo. And a band what, well, that was called Romani. We did, oh, yeah. we did all the like Manush uh, songs. My father was singing mainly and I was singing some tunes as well in Romanes. And then um, in the evenings we went to see uh, the musicians that we knew from from gramophone recordings. Jaro Kashandor, Boros Lajos. And I was so impressed with that music. And it just did what I wanted to do. That I, It means they, they played violin with a classical technique, but they played music which was much closer to my heart. So I thought this is the, this, I thought that was the right music for me to try and learn for various reasons because it's so uh, intriguingly um, complex freedom. <laughs> um, the way the band uh, worlds around the, the, the melody and the way they the way they can change tempos without for us hearable warnings <laughs> and slow it down suddenly and then speed it up again and slow it down and speed it up and you just if you don't know the music you don't you don't get how it works at all you just think they have rehearsed it and if you go and see them you see that they have not they know how it works and they can do either way or another way or still another way following only the bow of the first violin player and the knowledge that they know the tunes. Um, this intrigued me that much that I really started to try and find musicians who could help me to learn this and definitely there were only Hungarian gypsy musicians who could. The music definitely is not gypsy music, it's played by gypsies but it's Hungarian music first. Um, okay, and I found a very nice violin player, Gala Jolt, he was living in Antwerp that time. And he tell, he, one of the first things he told me was in a very nice Flemish, uh, with a very heavy Hungarian accent, you will never be able to play this music if you don't speak Hungarian. <laughs> and he was right. Seriously. I, I learned Hungarian because of that phrase because of that one sentence that he told me and he, he told me some tunes and, and helped me with violin technique and I started to learn Hungarian with a grammar book and then I found a tea I had to find a teacher because it's quite a complicated language and now I can tell I can confirm that what he said is true wow. there's no way of playing this music right if you don't speak Hungarian why is that um, because many many tunes don't have um, a metrum or a tempo, so you cannot go like one, two, and one, two, three, two, 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 two. Huh? because these tunes are. like waves of music So it's, it's the way to know how to play it is um, the rhythm of the language. So you need, it's not about what the lyrics tell about, it's about how the language sounds and how the words, uh, the, the stress is put through the words. Um, let me try and, uh, okay. <laughs> Galambietta horto bagiro, horto bagi ronasha. See what I mean? It's 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 the 
It's the beat of the... Yeah, the lyrics mm -hmm. of the words. The words, the actual words. And um, so, yeah, and I learned Hungarian and then I went to Budapest and studied with Horvat Bela for one year and a half. And I'm very grateful to Horvat Bela, who is in New York nowadays working with and for uh, uh, Zuckerman. Um, he is a very highly trained and very gifted classical violin player. But his grandfather was Primash, Hungarian gypsy musician, and um, he knew quite some of the, of the repertoire I was interested in. And he could learn me technique and the repertoire, which was ideal for me. So he helped me very much. But even though I got a lot of new information and very interesting and valuable information, when I was 24, Five and came back to Belgium. I still was not able to play to to guide to lead a band. Really, I could play what I learned, but I couldn't really lead the mm -hmm. band as I wanted to lead it. And that took me still three or four years. And when I finally uh, got very close to a, a very good friend of mine now, Chico Schwilmos, a very good bass bass player, that he helped me very much putting the band together and really finding the right musicians. And so that's how the Budapest Gypsy Orchestra was born. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I also discovered that this music in Hungary was absolutely not as popular as I hoped it would be. Mm -hmm. People didn't like it because it was old-fashioned and because it's some even associated with, with, with communism, no, no. with old movies, with drinking, with parties, with, with not, not, so not with... Because Just with the opposite, what I liked of it. What yeah. I liked it, and it was the very disciplined...